Hi, this is Paul from paulbrabby.com and I wanted to go through a, another short technical trading video for stocks. Uh, again, I'm looking at, this time I'm looking at a channel uh, and this is on the weekly time frame from Microsoft. So some people will say uh, this is not range bound, but it actually is range bound within this very tight two year channel. And we we can trade that range, if you like, as in this ascending channel, as long as we frame it and we understand where the danger zones are. Now, some of these danger zones have passed, uh, but they were present at the time. So we'll go through them. But also, I need to leave them on the chart. What if Microsoft breaks this channel? What if it starts uh, on a bearish trend? What if it, what if there's a major correction? these uh, support and resistance zones need to be left on the chart because they could in fact um, form decision points in the future uh, so I'm going to go through this this is um, we you know we're, we're back from the beginning of 2019 with Microsoft and one of the things we look at on this channel is um, multiple touches but one of the most important things is the center line because that's almost like your trend line if you like and when we look through the center line here, we've had a lot of clustering and resistance and support just here where my cursor is. Resistance here, remember this is the weekly channel, uh, the weekly time frame. We've got more tests of resistance up here, here as well. Support here, quite numerous amount of weeks there. Resistance here, lots of support along here. So that's our main uh, trend line if you like but we need to encapsulate we need to look at the channel and see where those touches are top and bottom so we can see on the top channel here we at price action on this weekly it was there for about what three four months and then we pulled back and went sideways then we tested the top of, our, of that channel again and then we came to test the bottom ish of the channel now so we've got a lot of touches here on the top bound and here. Now we've also then just recently tested the upper bound of that channel again. We look at the bottom, we have great support for three weeks that rejected the lows at this point here, support here and support here. So remember, when we're, when we're putting these channels on our chart and we're looking at stocks, we really should be on the weekly time frame, especially with longer term trending stocks. Um, but one of the most important things is that center line really really important and then what we're going to do is join a few dots on support and resistance as we're climbing up through this channel uh, we, we can see I mean this is pretty obvious uh, but there was so much support here from sort of July to October and that's a really strong and it was tested again at this point here so this price zone is very very strong now I'm not saying it's ever going to come back down there but if we break out of this channel and all of a sudden go bearish, uh, that could really be a strong support. We also look at coincidences where our the channel was tested um, on uh, this non-linear um, channel, if you like, where we are uh, ascending uh, and we test it there. But also that coincidence when we can form a zone with the bottom of the zone uh, support resistance zone here and then this this test at the bottom here so that's just, that's another strong one and then as we go up we've got other ones where we've got tests top and bottom here here and here another strong zone we're getting you know we've gone pretty bar parabolic just recently but we, we tested the center line at this point here and we came back down to test the same sort of zone of price so again another support and resistance zone and then um, we can see big resistance here uh, so another zone that this could test if this comes back down uh, it may not come to the bottom of the channel but it could test this sort of 305 sort of level uh, that's that small zone there could test there if that fails we're looking for the channel to hold if that fails it might just pop out and test this one but if it breaks this to 280 Microsoft actually could be in a correction if not uh, a bit of a um, sort of a very large profit taking um, trend here to come back down and test these other support and resistance zones so again it's about framing that chart this is how Microsoft has behaved for the last two years but some of you say and I'm gonna do this for a bit of fun now what about trading opportunities within that channel 
it doesn't look like there's so many on that weekly time frame and there probably isn't but we've got to look down those time frames some of the time frames I look at may seem a little strange but when you look at a trading day is so many hours okay if we actually break those um, hours down into halves and then quarters and things like that we have actually have 195 78 45 and 39 minute time frames the time frames I use a lot uh, one of the four hours is is good uh, and for a stochastic roller coaster type strategy which I make videos on uh, four hours is very good but I really like the 195 if you've got a strong trending stock uh, or in fact a stock that's uh, reasonably range bound uh, we can use my X brand algo because this this was developed through my trading strategy for trading this type of channel now this channel could be horizontal in this case this channel is going up it's ascending but it works in the same way um, when we see these big horizontal lines on our chart they're they're the support and resistance zones but again the center line uh, you know the center line can act as support and resistance within a channel the same you know with the, with the upper bound of the channel we're looking at that as resistance with the lower bound we're looking at that as support so it's still the same sort of theory and the X brand algo tries to pick up those that test those support and resistance zones and change direction so what I'm going to do is go down to the 195 because it's, it is one of my favorite time frames. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to add the expert algo on there for now. OK, so we're going to go back, back in time and we're going to look at this channel and see what's been behaving and what's not. So one of the things that we really, really look at here is uh, when we've got this strong support zone, we're getting these short signals, but we're not going to take them because we've tested this already. One, two, three, four times. This is really strong support. Obviously, the, the trade short will be below that support. As we start to move in and test the upper bound of the channel, this is what I'm really, really liking here, is when we're, we're going to test that the upper bound of the channel or the lower bound or the center line, we can see we get the five and the six star shorts here uh, and it comes all the way back down to test. Great, we didn't get any longs. That's what happens sometimes. We got four and a five star short here, but it's it, we're in the middle. We we're between the center line and the upper bound. It's not really tested. Any short, again, we don't short into support. We've got a linear support and resistance zone here. Uh, we're not going to go short until we've cleared that. We get a five and a six star short here. They were okay breaking this center line, a little bit of movement down into this uh, support zone. Then we get these great longs here where we're coming down, we've got, we're testing this previous support and resistance zone. We're near the, the bottom of this, the lower bound of this channel, five and six star buy. There we go, all the way up to the center line, which acts as resistance. We look to get out and then we come back down to test this lower bound of the channel again six star buy all the way up to the center line okay it does eventually push through there how would we manage this trade we use the manager the manager has uh, a bias uh, to it so when we're looking at this we see this ribbon here with a six star buy when it tests the here the ribbon stays green keeps us in the trade pushes through pushes through we get more resistance here actually there's more resistance at this point than there was down here purely because we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten tests you know after about six, five or so the ribbon just turns red if you can see that there so that's the time to take out uh, the long trade. Short trades, four and five star sell. You're going into the center line. That will act as support. Don't really want to take that. What you would look to do is look for a close below that center line, which we got on this candle here. Let's zoom in. 
and then you'd look to go short below that because that was the close below go to go short it goes back up to test again we come back down it comes to to you know you could take that short in there comes back doesn't take the stop out because it will the stop would be above this resistance zone then we get the movement down see how that center line of the channel really acts as resistance there it comes back down six star short but the candle closes here we don't short into support this linear support resistance zone holds from way back here we get a six star buy we go long we manage the trade with the manager it goes all the way to the upper bound of the channel here now with the manager we look at um, average volume as well so when we get a down candle like this one uh, that has higher than average volume because it's got a cyan dot above and it's a rejection of those highs that's the signal to get out confirmation is the next candle higher than average volume down candle again this cyan candle here that's the time to take out your trade aggressively and as you can see the ribbon turn red at this point that would be uh, the the time to take out that trade conservatively so as we can see in here in this channel we've got a bullish channel you can take the shorts in there they're not brilliant but when we get tests of the upper bound of the channel they work very well more importantly when we're trading with the trend when we get these four five six star buys and we've been testing the lower bound they've all produced fantastic trades so we're starting to understand the behavior of Microsoft in this range now we say range because it's in this channel it's respecting this channel for two years if we come back down to test this linear support and resistance zone and it starts to go back up again and we get another five six star buy on the expert algo I'm very confident to go and take that trade in because the behavior for the last two years when we've had that type of uh, signal and linear support and resistance or non-linear with a bottom with a lower bound of this channel i'm very very confident that, that trade as long as this channel is not broken it's going to work out very very well for me all i need is the signal and then i need to manage it with the manager and we with the 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 expert algo and the manager form a bundle called the cradle to grave and it is fantastic for trading stocks within uh within a range that's going sideways so when we're you know when we're when we're at the bottom of that range and we get a signal to go along we can trade up to the top of the range uh, but moreover when we're looking at a, a longer term channel which is really a range it's just an ascending range uh, it works exactly the same and very very powerful for me I have a hard and fast rule if I've got a bullish trend channel like this I only take the longs and with the trading view platform I can set a, an alert up every time a five and a six star buy signal on Microsoft occurs on the 195 so I can just set those uh, even if that signal doesn't come for a few more weeks it doesn't matter I'll get an alert even on my phone or on the chart to say hey there's a five star buy on Microsoft 195 minute I know then to take action go and have a look where did it occur have we got some good support and resistance zone um, has it held what's the risk reward fantastic let's go again because I've got confidence that these work very well in this current trend hopefully that helps speak to you all really soon